The 2024 All-American Futurity coverage on StallionEsearch.com is brought to you by The Stallion Roster of Robichaux Ranch Incorporated in Brobridge, Louisiana. And hello again everyone, I'm Greg Thompson of StallionEsearch.com here in Albuquerque previewing the All-American Futurity. And of course on StallionEsearch.com we bring you coverage of this championship weekend like no other, unparalleled in the industry. And on this episode you're able to watch all the qualifiers going into this $3 million grade one event. The first race to profile from day one includes the fastest qualifier as well as the third fastest qualifier going into the finals. They're running. Ariat broke like a shot. Ariat got the jump on highly regarded V. In the middle of the course, we have MM Lightning, Jess and Candy going viral. TD's dash of Toledo at the rail. And it's still Ariat, highly regarded V, coming at him, though. Ariat holding him off at right now, and Ariat's going to hold him off. Ariat to beat highly regarded V, a long way back to MM Lightning, Jess, and then Candy going viral. The next trial race includes the horse that has won the first two legs of the Riadosa Triple Crown. He's got the look Z. They're running. He's got the look. Z came out fast. FTD Dreams floated out a little bit. Chase is in second. Then the battle for third. Superfly and IMD. And to the outside, Bougie Boy. He's got the look. Z in command. FTD Dreams. Then Superfly and Bougie Boy. He's got the look. Z. FTD Dreams did close the gap a little. The fifth fastest qualifier from day one, FTD Dreams, also was in the field. The fourth fastest qualifier coming from the first day is Mountaineer. Also trained by Toby Keaton. They're running, breaking out at the start, coming for candy, bumped a little bit, but was pretty fast. And then we have Rush My Hawks, Julia Bell, a political Chilitos, grandstand side, Mountaineer's got to get rolling. And we have coming for candy, Mountaineer is rolling on the grandstand side, then Rush My Hawks and a political Chilitos, Mountaineer, going to get up, Mountaineer. Mountaineer stops the timer at 21.235 seconds for the 440-yard dash. We'll be right back after these messages from our sponsor to look at day two qualifiers. Introducing the stallion roster of Robichaux Ranch Incorporated in Brobridge, Louisiana. The talented Dasha Dynasty, the son of champion sire FDD Dynasty, who is a half-brother to multi-millionaire champion. He's a Dasha Fire and millionaire champion I'm a Fearless Hero. Dasha Dynasty seen here winning the town policy stakes at Los Alamitos Racecourse. Dasha Good Reason. A half-brother to Dasha Dynasty, he's a Dasha Fire, and I'm a Fearless Hero, is the son of multiple champion sire Good Reason SA, and was a finalist in the Grade 1 Los Al 2 Million Futurity and the Grade 1 Los Al Super Derby, and three Grade 2 Stakes events. The Grade 1 All-American Derby winner, Goldheart Eagle V, the son of one famous eagle, is now siring graded stakes winners of his own including Grade 2 Laddie Futurity winner Gold Gun Z and Grade 1 $1 million Heritage Place Futurity runner-up Fiery Eagle. Also introducing the two-time AQHA champion Grade 1 winning KPN Corona. The son of Corona Cartel was a Grade 1 winner with earnings of over $868,000 and is now siring Grade 1 winners of his own, such as Grade 1 Ed Burke Futurity winner Political Rivalry and Heritage Place Oaks winning Miss KVN and Riadosa Juvenile Challenge winner MFS Cheerio, just to name a few. Also standing at Robichaux Ranch, the AQHA champion runner and stakes winner of over $429,000, Tarzanito, winner of the Sergeant Pepper Feature Handicap as a runner, is now also a graded stakes producing sire. With his daughter Blue Eyed Jane, the winner of the Grade 3 Sam Houston Juvenile Challenge as a two-year-old. The talented roster of Dasha Dynasty, Dasha Good Reason, Goldheart Eagle V, KVN Corona, and Tarzanito, all standing at Robichaux Ranch Incorporated in Brobridge, Louisiana. It's time to look at day two qualifiers going into the 2024 All American Futurity. Race 13 on day two had Brinkman V, the fastest qualifier, as well as Turner's Hot Habit. Brinkman V came out fast. Brinkman V in front of the far side. We have the Troubadour. Then back at the rail, Turner's Hot Habit. Next middle of the course, a dream fulfilled and in red jet is Brinkman V in front. Brinkman V chased by Turner's Hot Habit. Then red jet in the Troubadour. Brinkman V. 
People Are Scrambled was the second fastest qualifier from day two. They're running, veering in sharply at the start. Bullet Train V. And it's early speed for just through a cartel and a political revenant to the outside. Dalvin, people are scrambled and sweet cape between horses. It's wide open. People are scrambled outside. Dow. And then in the inside, just through a cartel. Bullet Train V's trying to recover late, but people are scrambled's gonna win. Now we're going to look at the third fastest qualifier coming out of day two, KJ Bad Moon Rising. They're running. Mystery Kisser came away fast. So to KJ Bad Moon Rising outside of them, favorite blue. Extreme outside, Torres Fortis, all lights out. And then back along the rail, new frontier. KJ Bad Moon Rising rocketing away, wants to qualify desperately. KJ Bad Moon Rising chased by Torres Fortis, then Mystery Kisser, KJ Bad Moon Rising. Now we're going to look at the last qualifier getting into the field, who got into the field with the deletion of Kempton. They're running. Kempton, beautiful start on the far side. Painted Eclipse is going to go with him. Then inside we have Conspire. Next comes Candy's Cause, and Painted Eclipse and Kempton do battle. Then Candy's Cause and Conspire. Kempton in front, and Painted Eclipse trying to keep up. Kempton, Kempton narrowly from Painted Eclipse, and then in his American Dream Head. Be sure to go on to stallionesearch.com and look for the special section at the top of the page for all the 2024 All-American bios.